Hello everyone, welcome to another Daily Gym. This is the episode for Wednesday, February 21st. It's a little bit after, about an hour and a half so. Um, And what I want to talk about is how we have a lot more going on with us than it may appear. So, um, I came to this idea because I've been sitting and coding for a good uh, portion of this evening, and I am in this weird, numb state, kind of focused, uh, so determined on figuring out this way to code a solution to making these audiograms, they call them, kind of uh, short videos with uh, captions in them. And, um, yeah, I feel really kind of numb and focused and tired and I started thinking about how we can get into these modes and then we interact with somebody else and then they you know maybe I'll interact with somebody and I won't be very responsive and they may think oh he's ignoring me he doesn't care about what I have to say and maybe even in the moment I think ah this person is frustrating me I'm so bored why are they saying what they're saying And then maybe we can get into a fight about the specific conversation that we're having. Forgetting that I just spent all this time coding and I am in this weird zone. It's almost like playing uh, playing Tetris and seeing puzzle pieces when you go to sleep. Or actually doing a jigsaw puzzle and seeing puzzle pieces when you go to sleep. This idea of getting into a certain mindset. But also just... It's so easy to forget, I think, all the things that we're going through. And so much easier sometimes to forget all the things that somebody else is going through. We may, ne- we may never know all the things that someone else is going through. So for me, I talked with two, old, uh, two friends today. Uh, one, one's going through some crazy work stuff. Another one's going through um, some crazy relationship stuff. And I almost forgot that I had those conversations today because I've been so focused on coding. I almost forgot about all these other things that are happening with me. Um, with like the food that I had and, and like the exercise and health and some of this stuff. And so how, what are the things I'm not aware about that are happening to other people? And why I bring this up is because I've had a few conversations about politics the last couple of days and... I think one of the challenges with politics is that we seem to think people have anger only about the thing that they're talking about. That they only feel anger and they only feel anger about that specific thing. Whether it's for in the U.S., maybe the context is they feel anger at Joe Biden or they feel anger at Donald Trump, and that's it. It's like, mm, I think there's a lot more to it. I don't think that their anger towards Joe Biden is 100% of like the anger that they're experiencing in their life. But to talk about the other things means to go deeper and to ask what else is going on in their lives. Because it could be anger at um, an an ex-spouse. It could be anger at a child that they have. It could be anger at um, one of the decisions that they made or didn't make. It could be anger at their body because who knows, maybe they're going through a medical crisis and uh, they haven't told anyone or maybe they've ignored it so much in themselves that they don't even know really what's going on. They just know something's off and they're afraid to even go check out. So I just think so often we think that the one conflict that we're having with the person is like the only conflict that exists in their life. It's the only stress that they have. It's the only uncertainty. It's the only dilemma that they're facing. The only source of uh, sadness or frustration or even joy. And we forget that we are human beings. We are interacting with ourselves all day long, whether we want to or not, we are interacting with lots of other people, lots of other things, especially nowadays with the internet, with, with phones that are giving us, basically smacking us with emotions all day long. (laughs) 
you know, finding out about something uh, politically or socially or uh, technologically or uh, relationally, boom, 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 we get a hit all day long. And um, I just say this, and it, there's that famous quote or whatever, we don't know the battles that somebody else is experiencing or what's going on inside of them. And we don't. Hell, we barely even know the ones that are going on inside of ourselves. Um, and it's really easy to forget. So, <sighs> yeah. Um, so that's what I wanted to talk about today. Uh, just to remind you, to remind me that if I have a disproportionate response to something, it's often because I am feeling a lot of things about a lot of things and just to remind me and to remind others that it's okay, it's human, and I just prefer if we would all be more honest about it, we probably wouldn't have as much conflict or at least as much division and hatred and indifference in this world. Can we just, can we just be honest that we're all trying our best and we're all struggling and going through so many things, uh, ups and downs and everywhere, uh, all the way around, all the ways around, <laughs> how to pluralize that. Anyways, I'm tired. I am going to go sleep and I will talk to you all soon. Take care.